Linux uses data and files to perform important actions. To access this data, it uses a system called the file system. The file system consists of directories that store valuable information. It's organized in a tree-like hierarchical structure. The top of the system is the root directory. The root consists of 15 major branches or directories. Some of these branches have mini branches that are subdirectories. Here's a quick overview of each major directory. Slash bin is a directory that stores essential commands that every user can use. Slash boot is a directory that has the boot or startup files. These files have everything needed to start Linux successfully. Slash dev is a directory that contains files for devices. A device is any equipment that can perform an input like a keyboard or output, like hard disk. Slash etc. is a directory that has all the system-related configuration files. According to the Linux documentation project, a configuration file is a local file used to control the operation of a program. You should back up this directory regularly if you reinstall or lose your current installation. Slash home is a personal directory for users. Every user has a home or login directory. This is the first place you see when logging into Linux. It has your personal files, settings, programs, and more. Slash lib is a directory that has helpful system files. These files are used to execute an application, command, or process properly. The command files for slash bin or slash sbin are located here. Slash media is a temporary directory for removable devices. For example, if you attach a hard drive, a folder will be created inside the slash media directory to better access the hard drive's content. Slash mount is a directory that acts as a mount point for temporary media like floppy disks and CD-ROMs. Slash opt is a directory for software and add-on packages that aren't built into Linux. Slash sbin is similar to slash bin but for administrative users. This directory executes commands used for maintenance purposes and administrative tasks. Slash SRV is a directory that contains site-specific data served by your system running Red Hat Enterprise Linux. You won't be using this directory much. Slash temp is a directory that contains temporary files. It's recommended that you don't delete these files because some of them are needed for running programs. Unneeded files are usually erased when starting or shutting down Linux. Slash user is a second hierarchy for user data. It has many directories that contain documentation, libraries, and files for every user, including system administrators. Because of this, it's one of the largest folders in the Linux directory. Slash proc is a directory that contains process information. It displays the system's resources, memory, devices, and uptime. There it is, the 15 major directories within Linux. Luckily for you, you won't be using all of them right away.